Okay, next one. INFJ here. Whenever my nervous system gets activated by a situation or conflict, it makes me realize just how much pain we store in our bodies. Yep, that's kind of similar to what Claire was just talking about there too. What meditation or body practices do you have you found to be most healing? Actually, um, a very simple one that is for everyone, this, this applies to everyone, is to make sure that, you know, when you get anxiety, your, uh, your stress hormones begin to be released. So you get adrenaline first, uh, so that you're able to power through the situation that's in front of you. And then once the adrenaline uh, needs to start uh, going away, you start secreting what's called cortisol. And it dampens the, the effects of the adrenaline so that you can then start calming down again. Now, the challenge with the cortisol and the adrenaline is that they leave like a footprint or, or, a, or a little carbon footprint into your system. And the way that we get rid of that, that um, our adrenaline, that cortisol footprint that the situation left in our bodies is through exercise, aerobic exercise. So in the caveman times, when we got, and we still have this wiring and very similar endocrine system and reproductive system since then. Uh, we, you know, in those days, uh, we had to get high on adrenaline to run away from the saber toothed tiger or, or whatever it was and, and whatever the threat was, we had to deal with it. And we often dealt with it by physical effort. So it was either fighting the situation or it was running from it. So fight or flight. And those things are the things, the physiological exertion is the thing that actually gets rid of those stress hormones from your body. Now, if we're stressed or anxious a lot of the time and we are not able to do the exercise, what happens is that those hormones accumulate in our bodies, which gives us like a sense of toxicity. So let's just say that you had a really bad experience one day and you didn't exercise those those stress hormones out of your system, you can wake up the next day feeling hungover, like you have a hangover. And it's it's literally, it, that's exactly what it is, a stress hormone hangover. I call it my cortisol hangover. And what that means is that you need to get your system going, you need to get your blood flowing, you need to get your lymph flowing so that you're able to do this. Now, if you do have something like a uh, chronic pain condition, you need to select the kind of exercise that will actually help you so it might be swimming you know that's not going to put pressure on your joints for example if you can't do any exercise then doing something like bathing in hot baths or sauna um, or dry skin brushing or um, or if you have um, you know those uh, uh, vibration boards that get the lymph flowing and get clearing uh, all those stress hormones out of your system. So those are the things that, that really have actually been better body practices than any kind of meditation um, or any kind of like journaling or anything because you're physiologically getting rid of the stress hormones and that's what it, where I would start. So once you've done those things, then you're no longer in that state of arousal and then you might be able to journal through it or then you might be able to do some meditation and and you know process through it post-processing but you need to get rid of those stress hormones so that you don't feel like you're constantly under threat so i hope that that answers that question for you thank you for that question that's awesome <laughs>